Our today's topic is macro evolution and tree of life and in which we will be discussing about evolution and fossil record. So in the evolution and fossil record there is a very close relationship. We knew a lot of things about evolution due to the fossil record. Fossil record not only gives us the spatial that means pertaining to the space but also temporal that means pertaining to the time view of the earth's natural history. So in that if we see what is the most basic group of organism that is species. And inside the species all the organisms are not alike. They have a variation. They are different from each other even within the species. Species consist of highly variable individuals and often divided into geographically restricted population and races. Uh, for example, the human being, Homo sapiens, are single species. The people who are living in Africa are different from the people who are living in the North America. And so is the case people living in the Siberia are very much different from the people who are living in the South India. So uh, these variation, these are within the species. And so is the case in the evolution, uh, evolutionary aspects and in the fossils as well. So the, the species is biological species con uh, in, in terms of biological species concept are a species consists of all individual that naturally breed together and that produce viable offspring. For example, humans as we have discussed that they have variation but still they can, they can produce viable offspring. Wolves and dogs, they may look very different from uh, each other and as well as these are two different species. But among the wolves, there are very much variation and among the dogs, Canis, Lupus, there is a lot of uh, variation as well. So if dogs are one species, that means they may have different characteristics. There are different breeds. Even though they are different breeds of dogs, but still they are able to reproduce together and they are a single species. That does not mean that they have become different species if they are morphologically very different. So, uh, but uh, opposite is in case of birds and frogs. So some species of birds and frogs, they look very much alike. They are morphologically same, right? So they live in the same spaces and same habitat. They are having the same niche in one ecological aspect, but they are having different songs. For example, birds may have different songs and frogs may have different guttural voices, right? So all these results that only uh, they have some uh, reproductive barriers in, in, in case of songs, right? So only organisms of uh, one species will interbreed among themselves, but they will not breed with the other uh, uh, frogs which are having different songs or the birds which are having other songs, even though they are very much similar. So uh, the biological concept, uh, species concept is this. And how do, uh, if there is some place where the organisms are living, they have their own gene pool. If they are geographically isolated, that gene pool will devolve, uh, evolve in that place and it will be different, a little bit different from the same species organism living in an, another place. So the local population may be isolated from other population of the same species and with a subtly different gene pool. An overall array of genetic material in the all the organism within the population. So that means the genes will be a little bit different in one population than the other population. Now what is gene flow? So if there are two population living and uh, some genes are going from one place, one gene pool to the next population that is called gene flow, the cohesion of species is maintained over its natural range by process of gene 
flow if there is no gene flow both of the population will develop into different species so gene fl uh, flow as we have discussed interbreeding with the members of neighboring population if one wandering individual goes from one uh, population to the other that is resulting into the gene flow so the speciation uh, the process of splitting of a population to form two species is speciation so if one population uh, if there are two populations of the same species but they are you know maybe due to some geographical barriers they are separated and there is no gene flow between them or due to some other behavioral aspect just like i have already said by some songs they have evolved different songs for each other uh, the reproductive uh, songs reproductive isolation we call that so all of these things result into the evolving of a different species uh, from the same species so one species develops into two different species and we call that speciation so there are two uh, models uh, the allotropic or other homeland model and the geographic model of the speciation that is based on the establishment of the geographical barriers so one organism is there but another or uh, the some individual from that organism are choosing another homeland and they have different uh, uh, different selection pressure over there and that results into speciation so now uh, uh, as we were discussing the reasons for the uh, speciation each population or set of population would start out with a different gene if some organisms are living in one area they will have different gene pool slightly different gene pool from the parent population so when they have different gene pool they have different starting point and the selection pressure the environment uh, environmental insults the different conditions the weather conditions climate rainfall everything is different in that place and that will result into new organisms which are evolved to that particular place and that is called selection pressure the so selection pressure would be different perhaps only subtly on either side of the barrier and uh, what are the models of uh, speciation there is phyletic gradualism model the phyletic gradualism says that the species continue to evolve in the normal conditions they are you know having some changes the genes are changing and they continue to evolve in a lineage so phyletic gradualism where uh, evolution takes place in, in the lineages and speciation is a side effect of the evolution so it is continuing all the time but in the punctuated equilibrium model which is a second model of speciation is there where most of evolution is associated with the speciation events there are some times when the species are made right so the climate changes maybe some other bursts of creation are happening and at that time the speciation happens and uh, otherwise in the lineages there are no changes there is no speciation going on and that particular time is called stasis and here you can see the two models in the speciation and lineage evolution so b is showing the punctuated equilibrium where most evolution is associated with the speciation events and lineages show little evolution so the one with the curved endings are the a where you have the tree like structure and in the b where the boxes like structure you can see the uh, no curves but you know the sharp edges the area which is horizontal this is called uh, the speciation event and where it is going vertical it is period of stasis when there is no more species are being evolved so this was about the macroevolution and tree of life